everyone, and welcome to the IMAG pre-meeting webinar for the Integrating Machine Learning with Multi-Scale Modeling um, webinar series. And I will introduce uh, our presenter, Dr. Chi Chi Mei at the NSF. Thank you, Grace. So today what I hope to do is give everyone a background of the things, the things that we're interested in supporting within the Biosciences Directorate at NSF. Um, I'm part of the Systems and Synthetic Biology program within the Division of Molecular and Cellular Biosciences. There are several program directors part of, our, uh, of, of the SSB program, including myself. Um, David Rockcliffe is our cluster lead, Anthony Garza, Devaki Baya, and Elias Smith. So if you ever need to contact any of us, if you send an email to SSB, we will all get it and one of us will get back to you. So with, I, I thought uh, this actual presentation would be important given the community that um, we're to encourage to submit more multi-scale modeling proposals as well as proposals related to uh, data science and machine learning in our directorate. So what I'm hoping to do, to do today is kind of give you an overview of the structure of the Directorate of Biological Sciences so you'll know uh, given your idea what division it may fit into. So uh, one of the things within the Directorate of Biological Sciences, we're kind of organized by scale. So we have different um, areas of emphasis, and we have four divi three divisions that are heavily focused on different scales of biology, and then one division, uh, which is the Division of Biological Infrastructure, that are focused on tool development that kind of crosses not only one institution, but could be of use to the community. Next slide, please. Um, one, one question that we tend to get uh, from investigators, especially those that have been funded by other agencies such as NIH, is I have an idea, how do I know that um, NSF will fund it? There's always the, the, the question, can NSF fund biomedically related research? So within different parts of NSF, there are, you can submit uh, proposals that are more heavily biomedically motivated, but within biological sciences, we are very um, specific in terms of trying to um, disaggregate those types of questions from the basic biological sciences that we support. So NSF Biosciences Directorate supports basic biological sciences, so if you have questions that are related to some fundamental phenomena that occurs in biology, um, or if you can take your biomedical questions and try to figure out what is that biosciences question, then it would um, more easily fit within NSF Bio. Specifically, just some sim similarities, uh, not only in, of course, there's different review processes, but I think the, the most critical thing here is make sure that the question that you're asking for bio is basic biosciences and also be aware of the budget. So our budgets tend to scale differently within than, than NIH budgets, um, and again, or different agency budgets. So as I mentioned previously, we are divided into four directorates. One of the directorates is integrated organismal systems, and I will just quickly highlight this. So they support research at the organism level and looking at the organism as an integrated unit in biological organism. They function things such as behavioral systems, they emphasize areas such as behavioral systems, developmental systems, neural systems, uh, physiological systems, and of course, plant genome research. So if you're topic or your question falls at that scale, then this would be an, uh, a division that you would come to. And I, I do want to emphasize that across bio, there is a strong interest in quantitative science, quantitative um, study as well as mathematical modeling and the use of mathematics in asking questions and in addressing questions, both data science on its own as well as integrated within mechanistic models. The next division is the DEB, which is the environmental biology. Go back once, thank you. The Environmental Biology um, Division. Okay, thank you. And so they support research related in, with respect to origins. Oh, I'm sorry. Why is this going on? I'm sorry, the computer's not cooperating. Okay. <laughs> and, and so they also are very interested in ecosystems, um, ecosystem science, evolutionary processes, and population and community level. So if you're looking at questions that relate to uh, the impact of environment on organisms, that might be an area to, to apply to. Biological infrastructure, now they look at if you are developing tools that are cross-cutting, um, that are not only used by you, but other, other uh, by the larger community, BI would be the place that you could go to for those types of um, support. Next slide. 
Okay, so then my home division, which is molecular and cell biosciences, we are heavily focused on supporting quantitative, predictive, and theory-driven research. And we, we want to support research that um, tries to understand mechanism. And we, within uh, MCB, we are also organized into different programs. One is molecular biophysics, another is cellular dynamics and function, genetic mechanisms, and then systems and synthetic biology. Next slide. I know this is difficult to read, but I just wanted to kind of highlight quickly what are kind of the different areas. So within genetic mechanisms, this uh, they support research on the structure, dynamics, and function and evolution of genes and genomes, anything having to do with the information processing systems within us. This is, this is uh, supported within genetic mechanisms. Uh, again, they're very interested in things such as chromatin and RNA-mediated regulation. Uh, and so within any, any different context, so whether you're studying, let's say you're studying cancer, if there's something that you can pull out that's a fundamental science question, you can then pose it for something that may be of interest to genetic mechanisms. Molecular biophysics, they are really looking at the interplay between different structures within the cell, the dynamics and functions of biomolecules, uh, protein folding. Uh, they're heavily interested and invested in large-scale computation uh, uh, at the atomistic scale. Um, so if you are looking or studying a specific protein or something related to its folding, even if that protein has um, biomedical applications, that's okay. Just don't necessarily in your proposal. Uh, but that, so molecular biophysics, uh, that, that's an area that's heavily quantitative. And then cellular dynamics and function, if you're looking at things that occur within the cell, within the cell um, or if you're looking at, um, at differentiation, uh, they research that uses physical, chemical, and mathematical and computational approaches to, have, to form an integrative insight into the cellular function. Uh, again, also this area is heavily quantitative and uh, very welcome to development of computational models. And then systems and synthetic biology, which is, is, is my home program, uh, we support both, we are, uh, support both um, projects that are related to systems biology, asking questions related to biochemistry, uh, the biochemical mechanisms within the cell, as well as we are a heavy supporter of synthetic biology. So a lot of the fundamental work in synthetic biology um, has been supported through our program. Next slide. And so I believe I don't have as much time. So just to highlight some of the things that we fund and how we fund um, the different projects, we, we accept proposals that are using approaches that are at the intersection of biology. And even if your project does not fit into one of these pockets, Within bio, we are heavily, uh, I would say, interdisciplinary. <laughs> we fund across programs, we cr fund across divisions, but to submit to our program, we have a, a base solicitation, uh, NSF 18-585, and within that, you can submit different types of, of projects, uh, a, a regular investigator and in, initiated research project, if you have an eager, which is a, a smaller scale project. Um, one thing to highlight our solicitation, we have no deadlines. Uh, this is the first year that we no longer have deadlines. So that means you can submit at any time, but also just be mindful in terms of the fiscal year end. Um, but in general, you can submit at any time. Uh, so that really hopefully allows people to submit their best ideas when they're ready. We also have special initiatives such as um, that allow partnerships between uh, US investigators and investigators in the UK as well as U.S. investigators and uh, investigators in, in Israel. So we have those opportunities for collaborative research. And then finally, I just wanted to highlight the Rules of Life track. Um, you can go to the next slide. So the Rules of Life track is, oh, I'm sorry. We're going to skip what systems and synthetic biology supports. I think I kind of highlighted that. And if you have questions with, regarding that, I, I will definitely um, be available, I think, during the question and answer to, to answer questions related to that. Okay. So the Rules of Life track, I think, is particularly of interest to this community because this is an initiative within bio that, that is really interested in looking across biological scales. So if you have a question that spans scales and requires uh, whether mathematical modeling and experimental work, um, it would fit within the Rules of Life track. And so what, what it allows you to do is submit a proposal that multiple divisions would be interested in. So. Um, and that's still under the same solicitation. So if you have a project that fits multiple scales that looks at emergent properties, um, which we many times see in our multi-scale models, 
this would fit within rules of life track and within that this is where you can definitely bring in different types of uh, machine learning methods coupled with mechanistic modeling okay um, and you can skip that okay and just to highlight we do have a blog that has additional information with respect to time i did skip a few slides but hopefully if there's questions i can answer that thank you